Welcome to my channel, Why Does the Feather Tarot? This is going to be a pick a card reading, and these are messages from the universe. So please take the messages that resonate. If you're, if you're trying to make the messages fit, then don't make them fit. If you would like a personal reading, all of my contact information is listed below. So we have group one, group two, and group three. So you can pick one group, two groups, or all three groups. Just take this time to um, connect with the energy of the cards and see which group uh, resonates with you. So you can either pause this video so you can really take your time to connect with the cards. And when you're ready, then you can go ahead and, and get started and see what the messages are. Hope you guys are safe and taking care of yourselves. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with group one. So these are messages from the universe. So let's see, so we're starting off with, the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. Beautiful. So this is about you, you know, manifesting, setting goals, you know, working on your vision board, really having big dreams and aspirations, right? You know, Spirit is saying that make sure you are, you know, claiming these, these visions or these desires or these manifestations that you've put into the universe. You have be assertive. So this could speak about you standing your ground, not settling, you know, standing up for something that you believe in. So very beautiful energy. So we're starting off with material harvest, beautiful. So some of you could be having some type of unexpected or expected um, material gain coming in. You know, this could be something valuable in nature or, or some type of finances coming in. Next you have emo emotional withdrawal. Some of you may be taking this time to really go within, do some soul searching, um, connect with your higher selves, connect with your angels and your guides during this time. And you're gonna really be going from the energy of going within, you know, seeking and following your light to success. So I feel like, you know, this is a timeless reading. So however this message resonates with you or when spirit brings you these messages, you know, but during this time, you know, I really feel that your third eye is going to be open. You, um, you should be paying attention to your dreams. You may have signs and certain things coming through, maybe seeing angel numbers like 1111, 444. When you see these messages, um, make sure that you are looking them up and seeing how they resonate. If you see certain animals in your dreams or actually animals in real life that you normally don't see, like a crow or this or that, whichever animal, and it stands out to you, you know, make sure you're using your intuition and you're really, you know, looking up those messages because you can get additional uh, guidance. So I'm going to get a few clarifying cards. So Spirit, what messages do you need to collectively know for material harvest? All right, we have the magician here. Beautiful. So this is something that you're manifesting right here. This material harvest is coming in. This is something that you manifested. This is something that you, you know, really, really focused on. This material harvest represents you know, something that you really took time to think about. You know, this is what spirit is saying that you need to claim to come into your life. And I feel like it's it's definitely going to be coming in. I feel like for some of you guys, you're not even going to be surprised. It's almost like you're expecting it to come in. Look at that, three of cups. So you guys are going to be celebrating, you know, your, your manifestations coming in, right? seeds that you've planted 
manifestations that you put out into the universe, you're going to be celebrating these things. You could be getting some type of messages in regards to this material harvest as well. Typically, the Page of Wands is in regards to good news. You know, it, it could be in regards to some commitment or large institution. You know, maybe you're manifesting a new job, a promotion. It could be romantic as well, you know. You could you could be manifesting, you know, a type of partnership that is full of material harvest, that is abundant, right? That is beautiful and loving and kind and something that you you really want to celebrate, you want to bring into your life. And I feel like would be assertive, you know, you're really um, you're not settling, you're really sticking to what you feel that you deserve in your life. So then we have emotional withdrawal. You really going within, checking in with your higher self. You know, with the Five of Swords here, I feel like there could have been some type of change or some type of conflict. And I feel like you're reflecting on this. This could have been gossip. It could have been, you know, some type of disagreement or argument with the person or people. You know, it could have been in regards to this commitment or work. But I really feel like, you know, this speaks about a hollow victory. So you winning at what cost? I really feel like you're going, you're going back to that situation where those words were said and you're really reflecting on the situation. I'm feeling like it's a very healing energy because with the third eye chakra, you know, you're not coming from a negative place. You're really coming from a place of being open to other people's perspectives, you know, maybe like. Could I have handled it better? You know, did I say, did I say the right things? Next, you have the two of swords. So this is going to lead you to have to make uh, some type of decision. It may be a difficult decision. You have messages coming in here with the page of swords. When these messages coming in, especially with this, with this five of it, five energy of conflict or change, um, maybe a bit of confusion, you know, really look at those messages, you know, really investigate them, really make sure that you understand the details that are coming in. You know, because you don't want the distractions or the conflict or the gossip or the people that do, don't support you, like the naysayers, take you away from your emotional fulfillment you know, from your progression, from your success, because you're moving into success. You know, you're moving into this, you know, feeling of control and feeling uh, recognized. However, you know, don't, don't let these people distract you, you know, from what, what you, from your manifestations. Look at that, because once you make this decision, you're going to be moving into happiness and joy and bliss. Everything's going to work out very just and very fair. You know, some of you could be dealing with court, you know, and if you are, um, just know that, you know, the scales are going to be balanced. Things are going to work out. You're going to reach some type of successful completion. You know, I feel like with this situation, you know, you're really going to have some type of clarity when it comes to this. When this completion, when everything is said and done, you know, you may have had some uncertainty, especially in this energy right here. It's a little bit heavy, you know, but you're going to you're going to really receive that clarity. And any time, you know, the moon is out, you know, maybe in the past you had certain things like illuminated and it, and it cast a shadow on certain um, facts or certain details of the situation but once everything comes full circle you're gonna be like oh okay like I, I understand that makes sense so with third eye chakra you have the two of Pentacles I think during this time you know it's really important for you to make sure you're maintaining balance 
trying to maintain some type of harmony, especially with all of this conflict, argument, disagreements, change, you know, because the more balanced you are in regards to your third eye, in regards to your intuition, it's going to have you, um, it's going to bring you into this energy of the nine of pentacles uh, sooner. You know, this represents the garden of Eden. There's no lack in this, you know, with the conflict and everything like that. And the arguments, it comes from a lower vibrational energy. So you want to make sure you're staying in this energy of abundance. Look at that. And you're going to be moving forward successfully. You're going to be in control. You could be moving, you know, actually physical places or travel. But I feel like you're going to be moving forward into success. You're really going to be moving forward into something that's going to bring you some type of material harvest. So something of financial value or valuable in nature, you know, so very beautiful reading guys, please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. I truly enjoy reading all of your comments. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with group two, messages from the universe. All right, so this card says, believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming even when I can't yet see the result. Beautiful. So, you know, this card instantly made me think of a spirit is showing me like, you know, how you're driving at night and it's dark and you're driving down the road. And if you when you have your headlights on, your headlights only go out so far. Right. So that's kind of how life is. You only see at a certain distance. But if you have fog, if you have elements like rain or wind, then you're going to have even less visibility. So, you know. This is spirit saying that, you know, keep believing, allow spirit to give you um, certainty and know that your guides and your angels are supporting you because you could give up right before you're at the finish line. And if it wasn't if it wasn't raining, if there wasn't fog, if your lights were that much brighter, you would literally see that what you were dreaming about is literally right there so you know some people they'll start manifesting and they'll actually you know halt the process by you know giving up look at that look for a sign so that's that time you know it's that time to look for a sign you know you can connect with your angels your guides your you know the universe and you can say hey can you give me a sign you can actually give the universe a specific sign, you know, say um, a feather or pennies or, you know, your favorite song on the radio. Create a sign where you know without a doubt that that is spirit um, replying to you and giving you a sign in regards to your situation. So we're starting off with financial and material changes. We have patience and planning. All right, we have fertility. And we have temptation. So let's see. So right off the bat, I'm getting a message and this message may not be for everyone, but I feel that for the ones that it resonates with, if you are trying to plan a family or get pregnant or adopt or something like that, um, I feel like, you know, you guys are really going to be preparing for changes um, coming into your future. And, you know, I feel like you've been planning, you've been patient, you've been waiting, you know, maybe even waiting for a sign, you know, when it comes to some type of um, maybe birth or creating life or a creative idea. Um, this could temptation, this could re represent the passion to 
create this new beginning or this child or something something of that nature so very beautiful energy um, regarding if you are planning um, actual birth of a child or bringing a new addition into your house however that looks you know adoption or guardianship um, that's what I'm seeing for for some of you guys now when it comes to fives you know sometimes fives represents change it represents conflict you know it could represent a bit of constraint spirit can you clarify material changes all right so you know you are planning for your future you know you are you're right there and you're ready for your ships to come in you know the three of wands is a card about action and you're moving forward you know you could be changing the way you're you think about things this is you moving into smoother waters maybe you know you came from a, a situation that was a little bit rocky or is a little bit stressful or a little bit tense but you're not dealing with that with that anymore you know you're moving forward with the plan this plan is a very solid plan you know the knight of pentacles is typically 99.99 percent .99 of the time is successful at you know following through with his or her plan and it's something for the long run and i feel like you're going to be getting messages regarding this plan too with the page of pentacles So with patience and planning, you have the four of swords. So this speaks about self-care, taking care of yourself, you know, going within, reflecting, you know, drinking your herbal tea, exercising, grounding yourself, meditating, you know, make sure you're taking care of yourself, you know, your health, your well-being, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Recharging your batteries. Because typically when spirit brings up the four of swords, you know, the energy is really about to ramp up and things are going to progress. So you want to make sure you have the energy, you know, for this. So you have a two of wands here. So this is you planning for your future. You could be, you know, reevaluating the things that, you know, your goals, your wishes, your dreams, your desires. So there's more messages coming in. So this is something financial in nature or valuable. And this is, this is some type of messages coming in. It could be regards to work or some type of creative spark something that's going to give you some type of focus or determination it might cause you a little bit of anxiety a little bit of stress a little worry you might be in your head about it maybe like worrying like if things are really going to work out maybe really really worrying because you have an eight and a nine so as time progresses you get a little bit more a little bit more sad about it and then this is going to lead to an ending, you know, with the 10 of swords here, you know, for some of you guys, this is all in your head. This may not be the reality of the situation, you know, but for others of you, this might have been a long time coming, you know, in regards to this new beginning, this new birth, this creative idea. But, you know, whenever there's an ending, there's a new beginning. So you have the King of Swords, Tower, all right, so now with the King of Swords, this could be your energy or someone around you. So this represents an air sign, so a Aquarius. just lost my train of thought but this could represent uh, an air sign so one of those is aquarius um libra or gemini and you know with that energy 
the king of swords you know he's a very he or she is very um very analytical very in their head you know they they think about things they make decisions very clear thought very clear communication so this could be you and this energy of having to make a decision because you do have the two of swords here so there's going to be some type of sudden change and it's going to be some type of new beginning so this could be you know the news of that birth coming in this could be um, a new job or a new opportunity or a new way of looking at things and it's going to lead you to the two of swords so this is you having to make a decision you know about this new beginning or whatever the else, other option that you have So you've been investing in yourself, you've been planting seeds, you've been tending to it. You know, Spirit is saying, when it comes to this decision that may be a tough one, have a bit of patience, you know, with your situation and yourself. You know, really go within and um, check in with yourself. Follow your light, go at your gut when it comes to making that decision. You know, this may involve children. This may involve somebody from the past. You know, this could involve, you know, your comforts, your creativity, your your fertility, your prosperity, all of that. So let's move the temptations. So with temptations here, you have seven of wands. So this is about, you know, settling your this is about standing your ground, you know, um, not settling. For some of you here, you know, temptation isn't even an issue, you know. Any type of obstacles or anything that comes up, you're going to be able to overcome it. Because I feel like you're focused. You're going to be moving into the Three of Cups, so you're going to be celebrating I feel like you're focused on moving forward and that's exactly what you're going to do. You know, this it could have taken you a long time to acquire all of these cups. And, you know, cups represents emotion. So you're moving away from this energy. And this is something that you manifested. Yeah, and you're definitely, you're going to be moving forward into your abundance, your security, happy home life. You know, this is also financial security. So very beautiful reading. I know this reading is is probably going to be a little bit different for everyone, um, but apply it how, how it resonates with you. Please comment below and let me know how these messages resonate with you guys. That was quite interesting, quite specific. All right, let me grab these off the table. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with group three. So messages from the universe. So you're starting with when I surrender my will to care for to care of spirit in the universe, I attune my energy with an ever present stream of well-being. Beautiful. So, you know, when I see this card, I instantly get this feeling of like um, a vibrant energy, uh, a very like a, a energy full of uh, prosperity, but it's in regards to health, you know, physical health, mental health, you know, just feeling really good. You feel good. You look good just from the inside out. And you have weight. Look at that. Prosperity begins. So this speaks about some type of new beginning. I feel like it's some type of new beginning that's going to have, you know, you feeling very passionate. 
very f just very emotionally fulfilled with this energy you know I feel like it's something that is going to um, <clears throat> is going to add to your security your home life your foundation you know with base chakra here this is letting me know that you know you're really going to be grounded you're really going to be um, in alignment with what serves you um, on a soul level so very beautiful so let's get a few clarifying cards spirit can you clarify prosperity begins so we have the knight of wands and we have the king of swords all right let's see what else we have death So for some of you guys, you know, this could be in regards to a new opportunity or a new relationship or new connection with someone I'm feeling, you know, with these two court cards showing up, this could represent your energy or the other person's energy. You know, the Knight of Wands is very focused, very determined. It's a very passionate energy, um, just a spark of, you know, of passion. And then you have the... Uh, king of swords you know he's very analytical he's in his head um you know he could be somebody in law like a police officer or a judge or something like that but not always you know but he or she's energy um sometimes they're a little bit no nonsense with their energy you know but i feel like you and this person you know that you're you're going through some type of transformation you know, um, you have four swords here. So, you know, you really could be going within about this situation, really reflecting. And it seems like you're, you're going to be moving forward, um, into smoother waters. Now, I'm, you know, if this, if you're taking this other person with you, um, I'm not for, I'm not for, I'm not sure yet because with death it could have represented some type of ending as well this tower wanted to come out so you know it could have been some type of sudden change um, you know the four swords also speaks about exhaustion as well so some type of sudden change has you know moved you into this energy of um, of smoother waters you know this person could be have like a very uh supportive energy perhaps they're supporting you through this transition they're supporting you with recharging your batteries and really going within you know if it is in regards to this relationship you know it could provide you with a lot of balance there could be a lot of give and take i feel like you know in general you could have more balance restored in your life with passion ignited I just feel like with the six of Pentacles you know your your cup is being refilled the Emperor so I feel like the universe is guiding you and supporting you during this time and you have a successful cycle completion it's really gonna bring you into balance you know, it's really going to bring in an energy of balance and harmony. I really feel like, you know, if you if you did have any stress or anxiety when it comes to your um, your home life or your foundation or security, I really feel like that's going to be over because you're going to be moving into that balance. I feel like if, if you have a lot of... Um, responsibilities or bills or things like that kind of tying you down i feel that this give or take is really going to ease up the burdens and the responsibilities you also have some messages coming in something very heartfelt something very light something that's going to make you feel fulfilled make you feel good inside 
you know, it's in regards to your future. It's in regards to what you're building, maybe financially. Or it could be between you and this person. Something building within your household as well. And you have the Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new beginning. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, if this is a soul connection, like you could be taking it to the next step. You know, you guys could be either combining homes, um, you know, maybe moving in together, combining families. Um, you guys are building something together. If not, if you guys already live with each other, you know, um, I feel like this give and take, you know, you could have received, received some type of unexpected or ex expected um, some type of money coming in. And it, it really might have helped with your balance. Some of you with this Ace of Wands, you know, you could have, you know, a new family member coming in, you know, whether it's a birth of a child um, or if you are blending the families or something like that. Um, it's just a new family dynamic. There's some type of new beginning when it comes to your household, your, your security, your stability. So base chakra, you have queen of cups. So, you know, like I said, I feel like during this time, you know, you're going to be in this energy of groundedness. You know, you're really going to be in control of your emotions. You could really be coming from a place of compassion. You know, you're manifesting. You're looking at the things that you want to bring into your life, your goals, your desires, you have the two of swords. So you might have to come to a point where you have to make a decision about something. It could be in regards to you and this other person. You might have to make a decision about you and your significant other. If not, you know, this could be a choice that you have to make. This may be where this weight energy is coming up. You might kind of go in your head and think, think about it. You know, it might weigh on you, it might be a little heavy. Spirit is saying, have patience with yourself, have patience with, um, with the clarity that that's going to be coming in. It, re it may require you to have some strength, some courage, you know, but you, you're in tune with your higher self. You know, with the high priestess coming in here, you're really going to be tapping into your intuition. You know, you may not be happy with how the situation is, or you may not be happy with the person. Um, there's just a little bit of energy of dissatisfied. But there's going to be some type of ending. Now, whether you end it with that person, you know, the choice is completely up to you. But there's some type of ending, some type of painful or uncomfortable ending that has ha is going to happen. With the moon card here, you know, I feel like there's going to be some type of clarity regarding the situation. You know, the nine of wands, you're, you're not going to give up. You're staying persistent. You know, because your, your goal, your ultimate goal is your abundance. Your stability. Your happy home life. You know, but ultimately you're going to have to decide whether, you know, this person is, is aligned with the situation. For some of you, that person may be. You may see they're give and take. They're, they're helping out, right? Are they adding to your bills and responsibility or are they supporting, right? So for some of you, you are going to be moving forward with this person. And for some of you, you're, you know, you're going to call it quits and you're going to be ending that painful situation so you can, you know, focus on your, your abundance, focus on your fulfillment. So very powerful reading, guys. Please comment below. Let me know, you know, how these messages are resonating. I truly um, enjoy reading each and every one of your comments. So if these messages resonate, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. I truly appreciate it. You guys take care. Be safe.
and till next time.